Hello friends, welcome to SETI Botany Classes. I am Dr. Meena SETI. Today we will study about marker genes. What are marker genes? What are types of marker genes? And how these marker genes are used for identification and selection of the transformed genes. So marker gene is the gene which is going to mark certain genes. Now see, this is the DNA and this part is different on the DNA. So this gene is called as marker gene. Marker gene is the gene present on the chromosomal DNA with a known location. Marker gene has certain characteristic features. It is located near the target gene and also on the same chromosome where target gene is located. It is easily inherited and it is easily cloned or multiplied and it can be easily detected also. So we can say it is a DNA sequence with a known location on the chromosome and this is used in molecular biology. Uh, actually, marker gene is used in screening and selection of the transformed cells. This is a technique called as genetic engineering or recombinant DNA technology. In that technology, we want to raise transgenic crops or transformed crops. Those transformed crops are with the characteristic features like high yield, good nutritional quality, resistant to herbicide, resistant to pest, resistant to various diseases. For that particular characteristics, we isolate a gene of interest. We call that as a DNA insert also. So we will isolate that DNA insert, multiply it or clone it with the help of vectors. Then we will incorporate that DNA of interest or DNA insert into the target tissue. So target tissue may be cell or a tissue. And from that target cell or tissue, we have to identify the cells which have been transformed. And for identification and selection of the transformed cells, we can use marker genes. Marker genes are of two types, selectable marker and a marker for screening. Now, what is a selectable marker? Best example of selectable marker is antibiotic resistant gene. In a plasmid or in a vector, we insert a antibiotic resistant gene. Uh, that antibiotic resistant can be uh, resistant to an tetracycline, streptomycin, hygromycin, erythromycin. So they're, they're, that gene can show resistant to any of the antibiotics. So when along with our target gene, we have inserted the antibiotic resistant gene and we are growing that cell or tissue in presence of that antibiotic. So only the cells which have antibiotic resistant gene will survive, all other cells will be killed. So we can select our uh, cells which have been survived under the presence of that antibiotic. So antibiotic resist resistant market can also be used and herbicide resistant market can also be used. So these are the various genes which have been isolated from bacteria, Estertia coli, Estertia coli, mouse, Petunia hybrid, and these are various genes which are providing resistant to the antibiotic. So this is a selective agent like canamycin, hygromycin, uh, methotrexate, glyophosate. Antibiotic resistant marker genes, uh, we can see this in this example, uh, this is the plasmid PBR322 made up of uh, 4,362 base pairs. Now this area is showing certain restri restriction site. This area is also showing certain restriction site. A restriction sites are the sites where restriction enzyme can act and cut the DNA. And this area is also having a gene which is resistant to tetracycline. And this part is also having a gene resistant to ampicillin. And this is the origin of replication. So with this plasmid, if we have interest, inserted our DNA of interest and we are using the antibiotic tetracycline in that particular, uh, you can say culture medium, only the bacteria which have tetracycline resistant gene will survive, all other bacteria will be killed. That indicates that bacteria which have survived in presence of tetracycline have that transformed cells or tissues. So we can select those transformed cells or tissues for, uh, you could say a genetic engineering or recombinant DNA technology. Second category is of screenable marker. A screenable marker will make cells 
containing foreign DNA or DNA of interest or DNA insert look different. Three type of screenable markers are there. Gus assay, blue white screen and clean green fluorescent protein. Now blue white screen, uh, this is the most rapid and convenient method for uh, isolation and uh, selection of recombined DNA or recombinant bacteria. So in this case, cells are grown in the presence of X scale. Basically, this is galactose linked to indole and enzyme for this is used beta galactosidase. So beta galactosidase in presence of enzyme, this substrate will turn blue in color. So we will select the colonies which have turned uh, blue in color, we, we will select the colonies which have turned white in color and other colonies which have turned blue in color, we will reject. So transformed cells will be having white colonies. So white colonies can be selected and further used for other experiments. Now, another is GUS assay. GUS gene is basically for bacterial enzyme beta glucuronidase and substrate for this gene is 5 bromo, 4 chloro, 3 indolyl glucuronide. So when this enzyme act on the substrate, again indigo blue color will come and indigo blue color will indicate presence of transformed cells. So we can select in presence of this as this gene transformed cells which have turned blue in color. So blue in color cells will be having recombined bacteria or transformed DNA and that can be further used in the genetic engineering experiments. Then there is another method where a gene is used for green fluorescence protein. Uh, so such genes are observed under special microscope. They code for a protein which can show fluorescence and that fluorescence is of green in color. So when observed under fluorescence microscope or special microscope, green fluorescence will be there. So we can identify the transformed tissue which are showing formation of green fluorescent protein. So this is a gene which is incorporated into the plasmid along with our gene of interest. And then those target cells or transformed cells, they are selected, which are showing the green fluorescence. So in this way, marker genes are used in the genetic engineering technology or in the recombinant DNA technology. And we can select or screen transformed cells in which we have inserted our gene of interest or DNA of interest. And we can make transgenic crops or we can make transformed crops. And we can undergo tissue culture experiment or other experiments. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, share and subscribe. Thank you.